In 2018, a new terminology emerged in Ghana, labeled as no bed syndrome, to describe the phenomenon of lack of beds in hospitals for new patients, particularly those in emergency situations. Experts say the phenomenon demonstrates huge gaps in the Ghanaian healthcare system, raising questions about the country's priorities. On the Big Fix tonight, we put the spotlight on the seemingly neglected health crisis. Evelyn Araba Edu begins our coverage tonight. All citizens have a right to emergency medical care according to Ghana's constitution. The aim is to establish efficient and effective accident and emergency services to reduce disability and deaths in hospitals. But what happens when patients with emergency cases are turned away with the skills of lack of birth and do not even get first aid? It is a sorrowful moment here in the residence of renowned high life musician Nana Isia Piesi. Tears have eluded these relatives and sympathizers due to the treacherous way they believe their loved one was treated at the St. Moses Community Hospital and at the 37 Military Hospital. The 57 year old police Saba hitmaker died on Monday. April 4, 2022, after a car crash on the Pokrasi Odumasi Junction around 4 p.m. His closest friend, Eric Asiedu, says a good Samaritan rushed him to the St. Moses Community Hospital. But the time Eric got there, there was a confrontation between the good Samaritan and the doctor at the facility. For a good 40 minutes, Nana Isinya PSA was not attended to even though he was still breathing. Eric recalls that after almost an hour wasted without any life-saving care, authorities at the St. Moses Community Hospital then referred him to the 37 Military Hospital. He says at the 37 Military Hospital, a medical officer simply told them there was no bed and that he should be taken to the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. At 37, we handed the note to the medical staff we met, but he didn't even come to look at the patient and said there was no bed and we should take him to reach. But just between the 37 Military Hospital and the Rich Hospital, Nana Isia PSA had stopped breathing and was foaming. Unfortunately, he was pronounced dead within a few minutes of arrival. The driver called to tell me that Nana is dead on their way to the rich hospital. I blamed the first facility for the death of Nana. If he had been given care at the first facility, I believe he wouldn't have died. The situation is not peculiar to the late NCS case. According to Kobina Kranten, his wife was also ignored by health professionals at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, one of the country's major referral facilities. My pregnant wife started bleeding at night. We rushed her to Kolibu, but the doctor we met got angry without even attending to her throughout the night until we took her to another facility. On March 9, at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital again, I chanced upon this critically ill patient being wheeled out of the emergency unit and lifted into a taxi by her relatives without any assistance from any of the staff as they had been turned away from the facility due to lack of beds. This car crash victim with severe head injuries was being put in a taxi with other three people, making four at the back seat. That was the scene at the Mamobi Government Hospital when I got there on Saturday, March 12, 2022, at 7.52 in the morning. About 90% of emergency cases are brought into health facilities without an ambulance. According to the policy and guidelines for hospital accidents and emergency services in Ghana, an accident 
or an emergency is an injury or illness that is acute and poses an immediate risk to a person's life or long-term health. Patients with potentially life-threatening symptoms such as headache, chest pain, abdominal pain, collapse of unknown cause, and severe injury of which care is given accordingly after what is termed as triage or sorting at the emergency. A major challenge in the health facilities is building capacity of the emergency room staff as well as resourcing them with enough logistics. Unavailability of beds does, does just not mean there is no bed. Sometimes it's got to do with resource available. Sometimes it's got to do with the person may need oxygen and they do not have oxygen. The more they keep the person there, the more harmful it is for the person. Currently, there's no data on deaths that occur in the emergency room. The Ghana Health Service says it is now working on gathering data, raising questions about the seriousness attached to this issue. But Loris Oforibwedu, acting director of the Institutional Care Division of the Ghana Health Service, gives some explanations. We have revised our guidelines. We are still ongoing in regard, revising what we call the accident emergency policy. We are still also revising the referral policy. The policies that guided emergency care have come of age and we need to revise them. And that's what for the past one year we've been working on to get. Back in Nana Isia PSA's family house, grief, agony, and disappointment continue to take center stage. Nana Isia PSA's family believes if Ghana's emergency response system was working effectively, perhaps their relative would have been alive today. They want government to step up efforts towards ensuring rapid emergency care to prevent others from suffering a similar fate. Evelyn Arabai Edu, reporting for GHR News.